Okay, some of y'all will remember that I've been having grounding problems when I'm on solar. And what the issue is, is that the green, the ground is open. It's not grounded anything. And I could not figure out how to get my testers to show that it was grounded. And I came across an idea from another website and it talked about taking an outlet, a male plug, and putting a bridge from the green to the white inside of the male plug. And so that's what I've just done. I've put in a bridge right here. The copper is sliding into it. And I'm gonna take a screwdriver and tighten it up on both of the uh, green and the white. Make sure you do the white, not the black. White goes on silver, so you're talking about the silver screw and the green screw. All right, so that's what I've got. It's all enclosed, and there's no bare wire showing. Okay, so I've got it plugged into my solar here, got my solar turned on. So if I plug it in, if it's right, it should have two yellow lights. Instead, it has a yellow light and a red light, so that means that something's not right in it. Now I'm going to take this outlet and I'm going to plug it into this socket right here. Remember, this one's the one that's got the bridge on it. I'm going to plug that in. That's all I do is plug that in and come back over here and we look and now we have two yellow lights. Our ground is bonded to the box. So I had read that online. It worked. What I'm understanding, some of these sine wave inverters are internally bonded and some of them are not internally bonded. And so some of them have to have that outlet to get them bonded and to show the ground is grounded. Still working, such a simple solution. I'm still learning. If you got any comments, please make them below. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. More to come.